Hey everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe. Uh, this week we're going to look at Paul uh, Gio, sounds like Rio's, first screenwriting book uh, called Kill the Dog. If it sounds similar to another screenwriting book, he made, he made it a point. You might have heard it's called of, um, Save the Cat. This is sort of a, not really a parody, but sort of uh, speaking to that type of how to format and structure screenplay writing. Now, if the name uh, Paul Gio sounds familiar, it should be because he's been working in Hollywood for the last 24 years as a screenwriter. He's been a writer for the following TV series, NCIS uh, New Orleans, uh, Judging Amy and Felicity to name a few. And Paul also was the screenwriter of Geo Storms. I'll have his link, IMDB link in the description below. Now, he does have more Hollywood experience uh, probably than most authors, actually probably most of the authors you have on your shelf right now, if you look at all the different authors you have for screenwriting books, he probably has more screenwriting experience than all those put together. And this last point is one of the main reasons that Paul wrote this book. And to quote from Paul's book, he writes, It breaks my heart when I hear newer screenwriters who are willing to put in the time and the effort become so depressed because they don't understand why their careers are going nowhere when they're doing everything the books and the gurus are telling them to do. I have no respect, and nor should you, for any book, website, podcast, or social media account doling out screenwriting advice if it's not from a working professional screenwriter. He then goes on to make the comparison that if you want to play golf professionally, you should seek out a professional and nobody else because they're the only ones who can get you where you want to go. And Paul, Paul disagrees with you. <laughs> uh, and I have a couple different reasons. The first one is just because you're a pro doesn't mean you're good at teaching. Uh, I've had a lot of experiences uh, in athletics as well as in education where the pro was the one who was teaching and they don't know how to teach. Just because you're good at what you do doesn't necessarily mean that you're good at telling other people how to do it or helping other people get results. So, so there is that. Two, people with different skill levels can still teach us. Uh, I think that to me is the bigger one and why I have a little pushback. And, and I will freely admit I have... I have a dog in the fight for this because I've been, uh, have, I have a screenwriting channel. I'm not a professional screenwriter. I never pretend to be. Uh, and, but is there different things I can do to help people? Yes. Uh, and so I don't claim, I don't, as you know on my channel, I don't have any screenwriting courses. Uh, I don't offer any products or services. I had kicked that around for a while, but at the end of the day, I was like, well, I really don't know enough in order to do that for other folks. So I don't. But what I do know, Screenwriting software, you know, I, I do that all the time and I give that out for free. Um, so, like I said, there's certain things that uh, I know and that, you know, if people are, are, are newer to screenwriting, that they can learn from me. And then once they've exhausted what I can do, they move on to somebody else. I think that's a natural part of, of teaching. Um, and that's how I view stuff a little differently than what Paul does. And three... Uh, Paul is a product of the Hollywood system. And so what he's saying here works well for the Hollywood system, but maybe you don't want to do Hollywood system. Paul also does a lot of television writing. Uh, for me, I'm more interested in movie writing. Uh, and so he's got some great stuff for TV. And I think a lot of his stuff applies from the small screen to the big screen. So after hearing my disagreements with Paul, I know some of you are going to think that I despise this book because it rubs me in the wrong way. On the contrary, I think you should go out and get Paul's book. And there's three reasons why I think you should. One, it's honest. Two, it really, Paul really goes about what counts in terms of writing. And three, his method of writing I think is really uh, helpful. So let's look at it in terms of honesty. Now, I found Paul's writing very refreshing in that he talks about the hard times he had in his screenwriting career and not just the home runs. Uh, his tales from Felicity, I think, should be required reading for all new screenwriters. And the lesson he learned from that difficult situation, I think, will pay dividends for all of us new aspiring screenwriters as well too, especially if you're going to go into TV and stuff like that. So definitely if you're thinking about TV, this is a book you need to pick up because of Paul's vast experience with the TV sector and writing rooms in that, in that regard. Uh, Paul, also, Paul also does a great job of bringing writers back to what's really important, which is your voice. Not what I'm talking with, but with your writing voice. So you might be asking yourself, what is your voice as a writer? And spoiler alert, you can't just be taught it. You have to develop it over a lifetime of writing. Now, this is a frustrating thing about writing, which is why I think there's a bunch of gurus out there. People want to hack 
for finding their voice, and, I, and they think it's through structure, and it's really not. Uh, Paul rightly reminds them and all of us that all structure in the world isn't going to make your story better. Writing is the only way you can find your voice. And at the end of the day, no matter what format or structure people have, and even in the video I posted not too long ago talking about uh, how to craft a Law & Order episode, I, I reminded people that you can follow the format, but the most important thing is story. And Paul really homes back in on that because I think a lot of writers are just, well, if I do this thing here and I do this thing here, well, it fills the buckets, but does it fill the story? And Paul rightly uh, hammers on that, that the most important thing in, in any of our screenwriting is the story we're writing. Are we going to have people have an emotional feeling after they read our screenplay? And that's what Paul really goes after. And I think that's really helpful for people, that people need to understand that we need to have to give an emotional response to the reader of our screenplay. And finally, Paul shows what works for him. It isn't, it isn't the method that is a paint by numbers method, but just the way he's able to come up with the story. I also appreciated the writing exercises, which uh, would be helpful to, in breaking any type of writer's blocks. So, Kill the Dog isn't your dad or mom screenwriting book. It's a refreshing look at how to write a screenplay and what we as screenwriters need to harness, hint, our voice and not to be worried so much about the format or the structure. There will be a link in the description on where you can order this book, as well as his website. I've also asked Paul to come onto the program to see if he would like to talk a little bit more about the book and just his views on screenwriting in general. I hope he accepts that. If you have any questions for Paul or questions about his book, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And until the next video, live well and write well.